Hello everyone, welcome back to the videos. Wonderful to have you guys again. It's wonderful to have you guys here again, as always. Um, today in this video, we're gonna go over what's going on with this thing and someone's calling me. Yeah, anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, um, I figured I would talk about this, what's happened. Well, as you can see, a lot's happened. Um, it's even currently strapped down to the dyno. Um, I've done half of the tune on it, um, done all the steady state stuff and a couple of power runs and we'll get into that later. Um, but I've made up, and not that you can see it very well, made up a stainless exhaust system for it from my downpipe back um, using the old 3 inch one off the ute. Um, I had a bunch of straight so it got a bunch of pie cuts as well and some bits and pieces to fill in gaps where the the second handy one wouldn't work so yeah it's got it's got a full three inch system with a single muffler at the back um no single muffler in the middle and then over the different at the back so it runs a full length exhaust it's actually not too bad it's not too loud um quite like it I had to reroute the intercooler pipe um, because there was not a chance in hell I was getting that to work and believe me I tried I spent too many hours on it trying to make it work because I was being stubborn but anyway I changed it fixed that um, grabbed a water line out of my pile of Dazza and that fit that one and I already had that one made and one of Dazza's old um, Cash can lines um, fit for the oil drain. I just had to shorten it about an inch and a half. Um, got Dazza's wiring loom and I fitted that up to the car. Um, I've routed all the body stuff on the exterior of the guards here and tucked it up as high as I can. Um, I still need to get better springs to raise it up. Um, yeah, so it's just using Dazza's old loom for the ECU master. Um, set of LS coils. Tucked the loom up over here. I spent a good couple of weeks on it. Um, work's been terribly slow. Ridiculously slow, as I've been mentioning before. But anyway, um, the ECU master lives down here and I will tuck it and mount it up under the dash. Um, look, I still haven't fitted the dashboard. I want to go and flock that and just make it a bit prettier um, the headlights work um, that was a bit of a story in itself the ones that were in the car um, that one didn't work so I managed to find a brand new pair for 70 bucks for a pair they're just a universal thing apparently um, so yeah, while I had a bit of cash I ran down to the coast and picked up a brand new pair of headlights for it um, yeah, so I want to flock the dash when I get some more work through and some money. Ethel's old fuel pressure reg, I fitted up and plumbed up with a bunch of old AN stuff I had floating around as well as the feed. It's got Nigel's old injectors which I'll swap John for. Um, some 2200s. And yeah, old alternator and a, a belt. And yeah, now it runs and drives. I made up a dodgy tail shaft, which um, vibrates really bad under D-cell, but I believe that's more so the torque tube going on a funky angle or something. Um, but yeah. I gave it a first start a couple of days ago. Um, I was trying to film it, so I will put that in here if I can make that work.
second second stop. basically running and driving car as of this point. Um, let's see if it wants to start this time. Yeah, so it runs and drives and does stuff. Um, yeah. So that's it. A lot has changed. Um, just finished doing basic tune on it. Um, might do a bit more on it tomorrow, put a bit more boost in it, I'll see, I, um, I don't know, I had, I had the clutch decided, no I wanted to do proper clutchy things, I think it needs an adjustment now that it's worn in a bit and done, done a bit of driving. Um, the brakes don't work, so I've got to fix those, uh, like at all. Um, I think that's just a, a bleeding problem, so I'll re-bleed those. Just up the clutch. Um, but yeah. Other than that, it's basically a running and driving car. Um, I want to do some upgrades to the torque tube before I really go pushing it too far. Um, but yeah, when I checked my um, camera after doing the, the basic tune on it, it was off, so I will play any footage of that that I have here for you guys.
go. So, it's been a whole nother day since you guys last seen me. Some shit's happened. Um, Gemini's not on the dyno anymore, it's back up on hoist. Um, remember I said the clutch sort of went away and felt a bit funny? Um, well, I found out why. It's pretty impressive. Um, but the bell housing was cracked all the way around to there on that other side up the top there um big chunk of it was actually broken right off i have a funny feeling that it was half broken before i pulled the engine out the other day and i just finished it off putting the engine back in the other day um anyway it is what it is i've gone and welded it back up um seems to be fine so far time will tell it is what it is there's not really much i can do about it um one thing i want to do before i put it back down on the ground though is i want to check the diff oil just make sure it's got some diff oil in it because that's one thing that i just haven't checked um but yeah this is me my crappy exhaust single resonator in the middle Full three inch all the way to the back. Um, it's nothing special, doesn't need to be. Um, lots of pie cuts. Um, two lines around, be clipped up, battery cable zip tied to that. Pretty standard stuff. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm probably gonna have to readjust the clutch pedal because I adjusted the clutch pedal up thinking that <coughs> thinking that that was the problem with the clutch pedal feeling like shit um, seems I was wrong so yeah I'll go ahead adjust that I'll put a boost T here in my wastegate line um, and we'll try to get a little bit more than 6 psi boost in it and see how that goes. Anyway, I'm going to get it down off the hoist, I'll get it strapped back on the dyno. And we can go from there.
right, so stupid bell housing cracked again. And down in there. I don't know how well you can see it. So there's something going on, something funky. Um, <clears throat> Uh, especially because I put put more boost in it and it made less horsepower. That was like 12 pounder boost. 177 horsepower and I know for a fact 12 pounder boost out of this turbo is 300 wheel on 98. Because I've done it. So there's something going on with this setup. Um, be it trans mount or tail shaft, I think it's tail shaft, um, tail shaft related, uh, cause I just made a one piece thing and it goes, uh, from the back, back of the trans to the front of the torque tube as one piece. It's only really short. So I would have thought it would have been all right, but I guess not. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna bother welding that back up again. Um, I'm questioning keeping it manual. Um, I don't know, I would like to keep it manual and throw some gears, but I just don't know. Don't know right now, so. Um, I may just slap a 4L60 in it and another tail shaft and go from there. Um, I want to strengthen up the diff in the torque tube anyway, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably put this off for a little while now, shove it in the corner, um, and wait. I've got a steel torque tube in my other Gemini so I'll rob that out of it and then I'll get the torque tube shaft um, strengthened beefier diff center and stronger axles in it um, and I'll come up with a solution for this so yeah there's something something really odd going on anyway gonna be it for me in this video guys it's probably been a long one um, thank you all for watching please leave your likes and comment down below what you think could be causing that um, I put two unis in it so I'm wondering if maybe it's because the diff is now down and the shaft has to and it's only short uh, yeah no no it's a different one never had this problem bell housings cracking <sighs> anyway and I don't believe it was from me fitting it. Because um, the bell, had, well, the gearbox just straight onto the back of the engine. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you all for watching. Once again, leave your likes and comments down below. Don't forget, unleash the boost, see how to the world, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. All right. So I didn't want to just leave the video here. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is, why it's breaking the gearbox bell housing. Um, I'm going to weld it back up again, um, refit it back to the car and try and fix the problem. I want to try and upgrade the torque tube and diff a little bit anyway, um, so I'll probably do both of them at the same time. Uh, it's probably going to take me a little while before I can get it done or come up with money and options to um, do the diff upgrades and whatnot so um, probably not going to see the little gem for a little while um, but yeah just figured I'd let you guys know if you haven't seen the rest of the video go back and watch it and it'll sort of make a bit more sense what I'm talking about now um, but yeah Pretty sure I know what it is. My mind's been thinking about it constantly for the last few days, so um, 
I believe I know what's going on. Um, but yeah, anyway. That's where I'm going to leave it in this video. Hopefully I'll have one to make about Dazza in the next week or two. So keep an eye out for that. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.